would say serums is a category that I will never cheap out on because compared to cosmetics products, the higher prices generally mean the use of higher grade and proprietary ingredients or technologies that cannot be used by other brands. Are they more effective than the cheaper serums? Not necessarily, but I have tried many of the most popular high-end serums out there to give you a ranking of their effectiveness from least effective to most effective on my combination skin type so that you don't have to try all of them yourselves. I tried more than the five shown, but since I forgot to keep the empty bottles, I will not be showing them here. Others I've tried include ones from Drunk Elephant, Dior, and Shiseido. Watch for part two if this video gets cut off due to the time limit. Coming in at number five is Lancome's Advanced Genifique. I truly didn't understand the hype with this serum. It felt drying to my skin and I didn't notice any visible plumping and radiance effects. I really like the dropper though because it has a button at the top that you can press to absorb and release. Coming in at number 4 is Phytogel from SkinCeutical that's meant to calm and soothe sensitive red skin and also hydrates the skin. While it did provide hydration, it didn't really help with my inflamed skin, which I sometimes got if I used too many harsh acne treatments simultaneously. The effects weren't obvious, so I could do without them. Third place goes to Herbivore's Lapis Oil. This product contains azuline, which is meant to soothe dry or irritated skin and reduce the appearance of redness while keeping the skin more balanced. Most importantly, it's good for oily and blemish-prone skin, which is quite ironic as it is a facial oil that acts as a moisturizer and a serum. I love the scent, and I saw my dry patches disappearing on my face during the coldest winter months. Second goes to a recent purchase I made, which is Clarence's famous Double Serum. It's for anti-aging and hydrating. I have been using it for a week, and I love the appearance of my skin afterwards because it is glowy and plump. However, I do feel that this serum may be a bit too thick and sticky for my skin type during the summertime, um, so using it in fall and winter would be perfect. And the number one serum for me is Estee Lauder's Advanced Night Repair Serum. It is actually a serum that you can use during AM and PM despite the name. Every time I use it, my skin feels very hydrated in a non-sticky and non-oily way. The morning after, my skin looks visibly radiant and plump. When I was using the serum, I started bringing it down to my neck because I noticed that I was developing wrinkles there, probably because I like to watch videos on my phone every night with my head propped up by higher pillows, and that caused my lines to develop over the years. I noticed that those wrinkles gradually disappeared as I applied every day, which was truly an amazing progress to see. I will, without hesitation, repurchase the serum for many years to come. Thanks for watching. I'm curious to know what's your favorite serum in the comment section below, and stay tuned for future videos like this.